So Greg, we talk about ground reaction forces. How important are they? They're everything. Ground reaction forces are when you push into the ground, guess what? The ground reacts and pushes back. Those ground reaction forces help move the club. Our goal as golfers is to, whenever we push in the ground, to maximize the forces coming back. To do that, I need to push into the shoe. The shoe needs to be able to transfer to the ground. The connection between your foot and the shoe is critical. If there's any type of slippage, or lack of traction between the two, you're gonna lose forces. So if you don't have the right fit, you're not gonna hit it as far as you ultimately want. Greg, let's talk about these ground reaction forces and really how they come together to make you a better golfer. So we know that the ground is the ultimate in starting the power source for the golf swing. That's right. So over the last five to 10 years, I think a lot of the sports science out there showed us exactly how important it is in the golf swing. There's lateral, yep. so I can, I can push side to side. Yep. You don't think golf of lateral, but there's a lot of lateral. There is a lot of lateral because you're loading into your trail side and then you're moving back into your lead side and that has a reaction on the golf club. That's how you shallow right. the club. And you think about like, why do we want a weight shift? Why do we want lateral in the golf swing? Well, if I shift lateral, I actually hit the ground harder. If I That's hit right. the ground harder, the reaction force is harder. One that I think a lot of people don't know it's important is vertical, is up That's and right. down, like jumping. Yes. Right now you look at the best players in the world, I mean, their feet aren't even on the ground at impact. They're not. And I think that confuses a lot of people because when we talk about jumping, you know, where the, the ball's on the ground and you talk about maintaining your spine angle as an instructor and stay stable and stay in posture. Firm, well, planted, you, front side. Exactly, yeah. but you can still push with your legs and, and stay in posture. And that's what we see great players do. We now know that, okay, those ground reaction forces that we just talked about, lateral, vertical, and even front to back, yes. are all very important yes. in the golf swing. But we know that once you create the ground reaction force, well, guess what? We need time to get that force from their feet to the golf club. That's right. right? So when you do this is really important. Yes. You can't be thinking impact. No. There's not enough time. Like I need to actually create my ground reaction forces almost in transition to the top of my golf swing. Well, that's right. And the golf swing takes such a little amount of time that most right. of the people that we see, most amateur golfers are way late in these forces. Right. So they're not maximizing their speed because the way they're pushing or the way they're thinking about pushing is wrong. We know that the best golfers in the world use the ground to create force. They create these forces in all different ways. They create these torques, and all those forces come up and move the club, right? right? Now, let's talk about shoes for a second. Yeah. Right? When we look at shoes at the Titles Performance Institute, what we do is we're really looking at maximizing your integration with the ground, and that shoe becomes a very important factor. Well, like I said, the art here is creating a shoe that can absorb the forces when you're walking, but maximize the ground reaction forces when you're swinging. That's right. right? The cool thing about the sports science is we're learning how these ground reaction forces can be harnessed, and with some really brilliant minds, we can figure out how to maximize those forces. When you put the shoe on, your forces go up.